What impact has sharing your mental health lived experiences had in your life? I think it's been mostly good. Like, I think there's this big stigma around talking about mental health. And then when you finally do it, uh, it's not that scary, right? Um, I think I've been able to connect. I think I have a group of, like, mentally ill friends. And I think it's just, it has helped me understand other people and help people understand me in, like, a way that I never thought was possible. Yeah, and also, also an opportunity to unpack things I wasn't ready to unpack and heal from things I don't think I could ever heal from. So I, I think talking about it has kept me alive, in a sense, as well, uh, in, a, in a really big way, in a very significant, serious way. I didn't think I would live this long. So I think talking about it was the key, was the, the thing that saved me. And sometimes, most times, that happened through poetry. So. Has poetry increased your sense of being connected to others in regards to your own mental health lived experiences? A hundred thousand percent. Um, from sharing poetry to one person who you really care about and you can't articulate your feelings to outside of poetry, it helps. I've shared it to my therapist. I've shared it with uh, my close friends, uh, the people who care for me, but also sharing it at events all over the country and to hundreds of people. And when people come up to you after an event and they just, they're crying because you said something in a way they weren't able to say before or articulated it and said it out loud, said the thing out loud. And in some cases, some would argue, said it really beautifully or eloquently or artistically. I think it's really impactful. I've hugged so many people just after a show and we don't need to say much, just say, they just say thank you or I just say that I understand. So yeah, I think poetry has done that. Also that, uh, that other part where it's running workshops, right? And giving people the skills, teaching them how to write about their feelings, um, upskilling young people, kids with mental illness or adults who have lived experience as well. Um, it feels right, like it feels like the right thing to be doing. It feels like this is some way I can contribute. And if we're talking about the idea of living and not living and what's kept me going, knowing I'm making a difference with some other people has been really amazing. So yeah, 100%, it's been really important to that.